The, the Big Rescue. Rescue. Hi guys, welcome to Kids Church. I'm Dylan and this is my sister Shanelise. Hi kids, we are so excited to be starting our new theme today. It's called The, the Big, Big Rescue. Rescue. It's about two amazing rescuers, Moses and our ultimate superhero, Jesus. Um, what do superheroes do again? Ugh, they rescue. Oh, that's right. Who's your favorite superhero? Glad you asked. Hulk smash! Whoa kids, check out those muscles. I wish I had such big muscles. Ah, I already have those big muscles. Whoa! Check them out, Bert Bear. Wow, they are big. Well, God called Moses to do some pretty big things in his lifetime. And guess what? God gives us that same power to do those things as well. Just like you, both Moses and Jesus came into this world born as little babies. You know what they say? Big potential often comes in small packages. In fact, did you know that both of them had such big potential that the enemy often tried to kill them? Kill them? <coughs> Here is our theme for you to remember today. From the little, big things come. In God's purpose, I am born to run. Hope you have fun. See you soon. Bye.
Hi, my name's Christina and I am from City Impact Valcofa. Um, this is my daughter Neve. Say hi. Hi. And we have a baby, don't we? Yeah. What is your baby's name? She was born. <gasps> yeah, what does she like to do? She plays and she gets cooking and she loves things. So I'm standing up and does she do lots of crunches? Yeah. Yeah? What does Siobhan like to eat? Ever? Avocado. Avocado. Do you yeah. love playing with your baby sister? Yeah, and reading. Do you read to your baby sister? Yeah. All by myself. All by yourself. Bye! Bye! Hello, I'm Andy. No. Hello, I'm Noah and this is Anna. Hello, I'm Jack. What does your baby sister like to do? Um, he likes to hop in his bouncer. And she likes to hold stuff when she's lying down. What does your baby like to eat? She likes to eat quinoa and avocado. What's some annoying things your little baby does, Noah? Um, cry, so stinky poos. <laughs> And she makes weird faces. <laughs> yep. Lucy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Moses was the cutest little baby and his mum loved him so much. And so when he was in danger of being killed by the evil Pharaoh, his mum hid him in a basket. She then put the basket into the river and as he floated down the stream, his sister watched to make sure that he was okay. Pharaoh's daughter saw how cute Moses was and saved him out of the river and raised him as her own little boy by asking his mum for help. She wouldn't know that he was going to be the great deliverer and he would be the one to take the Hebrew people out of slavery. Just like Moses, our Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ, started his life as a little baby. Jesus was also born in a time where all the kings and rulers wanted to kill all the little baby boys. Do you know how the story goes? Let's read and find out. There were wise men who followed the star towards Bethlehem to worship Jesus with gifts. 
When it was time to leave, the wise men were warned in a dream by God not to go back to King Herod. Why do you think that was? Let's find out. King Herod was really jealous that there could be another king. And so, when the wise men did not come back, he ordered all the young boys to be killed that were under two years old. Do you know that God protected Jesus by sending an angel? It says here, he warned Joseph, Jesus' earthly father, to take Mary, his mum, and baby Jesus and escape to Egypt. Later, God sent an angel to tell Joseph that the king had died and it was safe to go back home. Isn't it amazing how God protected Moses and Jesus when they were still very small? God is protecting all of us and keeping us safe so that we can do all the things for His kingdom. We're going to have so much fun learning about all these stories of Moses and Jesus together in our new big series, The Big Rescue. Moses didn't stay a baby, he grew up. Into a man. He was a part of Pharaoh's family, even though he was a Hebrew. One day, Moses made a bad choice. He was out watching the Hebrew slaves working when he saw an Egyptian beating a Hebrew slave. And in that moment, he made a horrible decision to get involved. And he killed that Egyptian. Pharaoh soon found out about it and Pharaoh was after Moses and Moses had to run away. Have you ever done something wrong where you felt like you needed to run away? Come on, get up on your feet kids. Come on, get up on your feet and we're gonna run on the spot. Are you ready? We're gonna swing your arms, lift your knees just like Moses running away. We're gonna run on the spot. Are you ready? Come on, five, four, three, two, one. Come on, run on the spot, running on the spot, come on. Move those arms, move those feet. I can see you running, come on, keep it up. Good job. Running on the spot is very hard, but Moses had to run for a very long time and he ran a long way. Moses wasn't only running from what he did wrong. Moses was actually running from what God had planned for his life. Did you know that we cannot outrun God? When we make a mistake, we don't need to run. We just have to stop and say sorry. God's waiting for us to say sorry. And God still can use us even though we make mistakes, just like He used Moses. Hi, my name's Sarah, and I love playing netball. Have you ever made a mistake? Moses made a big mistake, but God still used him for great things. In life, we don't always get things right. It's a journey. For example, have you ever been playing a sport and made a mistake? I have. Once, when I was playing a netball game, I kept on stepping with the ball and I kept on getting so many fouls. I felt silly and I felt like I was letting my team down. I didn't dwell on my mistake or let that stop me from playing the game. I learned from it and kept playing. It made me a stronger and better player. In life, God knows our weaknesses and helps us. When Moses grew up, he made a really big mistake and he ran away into the wilderness. But God used this time to grow him, teach him, test him and refine him. We can be confident that we can overcome our mistakes because Jesus was also tested in the desert, but he overcame victoriously. God is bigger than any of our mistakes. When we rely on God's strength and what he did for us on the cross, then God can use even our biggest mistakes for his glory. Let me show you something cool. Hi everyone, my name is Abigail and I'm sure you can guess today we are going to be talking about plants. Now I've got so many plants in my house, I love them, I'm sure you can tell. 
And so today for this video, I thought that I would talk to you about how plants start off as little seeds and when we look after them, they grow into beautiful plants like this. So, I think I'll start this video off by telling you which plant is my favourite. Now, I've got lots of different kinds of plants. This one here is really tall and quite funny looking. This one here is quite spiky and sharp. This one here has beautiful polka dots on it. Do you know this plant is actually called a polka dot plant? But out of all these plants here, my favorite is probably this one. Now this plant here is called a peace lily. And do you know that I have had this plant for about eight years? Now this plant kept growing and growing and growing. I had to put it in such a big pot so that it could fit. Now I've got some seeds here. And do you know that plants start as tiny little seeds? Now in this video, we are talking about Moses and how he was a little baby, but Pharaoh wanted to kill him. God, however, had great plans for his life, just like these tiny little seeds. And when we plant these seeds and we nurture them and look after them by giving it water and nice soil, we can grow these plants like this. So God had great plans for Moses' life. Just like he was a little baby, it's like he was a little seed, hey? And he had so many plans for his life so that he could grow into something wonderful and do great things for God. Well, I hope you've liked this video. Thanks so much for coming and seeing all of my plants. Why don't you go and ask your parents if you can go to the shops, buy some seeds, plant them, and grow your own plant. Have a nice day. Bye. Just like Moses, our baby is tiny, but has big potential. Just like we feed our baby, we feed our potential by reading the Word of God and we can grow into the person that God has created us to be. So, Amen. Amen. Hey guys, my name is Vikas. I've got some special helpers from Kids Church here. My helpers' names, come on, I'll introduce you. This is... Elon. Mia. Rilla. <laughs> Nice. And we are going to play an amazing game. This game is called um, Guess What's in the Box. It's quite an easy game. I'll tell you how you, you play it, right? Come with me. Come with me. You guess what's in the box. Well, this is how the game works. My friends are going to try to guess what's in this box. They are not allowed to see, but you get to see. And they're going to try to guess what's in this box. <laughs> Mia, what do you think is in the box here? Orange. Mm. What is it? Is it an orange? Yeah! Rua, <laughs> you are next. Let's guess what's in the box. Boot. A boot? Yeah. What type of boot? A gumboot. A gumboot! You are correct! <laughs> <laughs> guess what's in the box? Grass. Grass? Ah, oh, you're way too smart. All right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay. I know what At the count is. of three, I'm going to open the box. So put your hand on the box, on the side, on the side of the box. When I say feel, then you have to try to feel what's inside. So shout out what you think it is right away, okay? Two your ears ready? Okay. Okay. Everybody feel what's inside. Oh! Hey guys, that's exciting, right? It was something that looked like a normal box, but had some interesting and also yummy things inside of it. Now look, God does that to you and me as well, right? Don't let anybody tell you you're just a kid. Hey, that was just a box, right? But there was something amazing inside of it. And God places something exciting and amazing inside of you and inside of me. 
So what has He put inside of you? What could He use to glorify Him? What has God given you? What dream, what hope, what visions has God given you for you to carry inside of you to start using it and get it out there? Hey kids, today we've got another crazy drawing challenge for you. Um, you can draw yourself and whatever you're good at or whatever you like. I'm going to give you three minutes to do this drawing challenge. Are you ready? On your marks, get set, go! Maybe you're really kind. Draw hot if you're really kind. Awesome, that's looking so cool kids, keep going. You could draw yourself skateboarding, if you're really good at skateboarding. Only two minutes left. Great job, look at that. Keep going kids, that's looking great. One more minute to go, kids. Time's almost up. Keep going. Kids, only 30 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Wow, that's so amazing. Great drawing, kids. It's so amazing to see the amount of talent that you have and the potential that's locked up in you. You could send your drawing into kids at cityimpactchurch.com. Till next time, see you later. God saw you before you were even born. He has placed special gifts and talents in your heart, and He's given you everything you need to accomplish His goals for you. Sometimes you can't see, and like this painting, it looks like a mess because you've made some mistakes. But with God... It all comes together later and eventually you can see His finished picture for your life. To truly discover God's amazing plan for you, you need to come to know the one who created you. The first step is to know that God exists. If you decided to follow God today, we've got three very important steps to help you start your relationship with God. The first one is prayer. Number two, read your Bible. Number three, join a cool church near you. Find one with an epic kids church just like ours. So here is our theme for you to remember today. From the little, big things come. In God's purpose, I am born to run. Hope you had a cool time joining us. Love you. Bye. Bye.